Hey guys, I'm Talila Doherty and today I'm here to rant, yes rant, about timeline shaming. Now if you haven't heard the phrase timeline shaming, I'm not surprised, I've just come up with it. And what it means is people who try to shame you for not having achieved certain things by a certain age. For example, with women, I think what we get a lot is, you know, if you're over the age of 25, you know, between 25 and 28, and you're not married, you don't have any kids, it's like, ah, what are you doing? Are you picky? Are you just doing shakara for all the guys that are coming your way? This is from all those older aunties and uncles. I'm sure a lot of women out there can relate. And you know, you start to think, why are you shaming me? Maybe your time frame is not my time frame. If you had your kids at 21 and finished having five children by 25, that's your business. I'm very happy for you, but maybe that's not what I want with my life. And with guys, I see it a lot when it comes to, you know, our oh guy, oh boy, you know, you know, buy a house, you know, buy a Range Rover. There's so much pressure, you know, to have achieved certain things by a certain age, even buying a house by the age of 30, um, settling down, you know, having a certain amount of disposable income so you can go on holidays and floss on the gram. I think all those things are very nice, but what I think is dangerous is when, you know, people start putting pressure, started causing anxiety, and when it becomes a source of depression. You know, when you sit down and you start to look at your life and think, ah, this girl I went to school with is doing so well, she's working for a multinational, um, she's earning maybe like two M a month, here I am, I'm struggling, I'm an entrepreneur. I think, you know, social media definitely amplifies this sense of timeline shaming as well. We wake up, we look at our phones, we're on our lunch break, we look at our phones, and we're seeing the highlights of everybody's life and how much fun they're having and how well they're doing. I think this can cause a sense of discontentment. Um, I think what's more important than comparing ourselves with our peers um, is actually thinking of our own journey and trusting the timing of our own lives and thinking, you know what, this is my own journey. Yes, there's all these outside distractions and other people doing other things, but what makes me happy what is my idea of success if your idea of success is getting married uh, you know in your 30s and spending time to develop your career and travel that's totally fine if you decide you know you want to be a stay-at-home mom and take care of your kids and you don't really want to do anything career related maybe until your kids are of a certain age that is also fine there's no need to sort of try to or feel like you have to justify the choices the specific life choices you've made for yourself to other people just to feel relevant or just to feel like you know you're happening popping or keeping a pace with your peers i think individualism definitely is not celebrated enough in our culture here in nigeria you know there's a sense of everyone sort of has to tick a certain box by a certain time and i feel that can lead to a lot of you know a lot of these like mental health issues that we see that people have that aren't really discussed a lot of them stem from this sort of pressure. So my advice to you guys out there and the advice I give myself as well is just not to really, you know, take notice or not to really sort of imbibe other people's um, time scales. Yes, be happy for other people's successes, celebrate with them, but just know that if you're not at the same life stage they're at, if you haven't blown to the same level that they've blown, that's okay. Your own time will come. And so embrace that idea and do not put pressure on yourself. Thank <music> you.